Hello, how are you? I am well, a bit cold. We've had a cold snap in England. I don't know where it came from, but it's it's cold. And it actually snowed the other day. Okay, I got off the bus and I had my headphones on and I sort of said goodbye to the driver and said thank you. And then the driver was like, no, I was like I, I felt I saw the white stuff, I kind of processed what they said and I was like, Hello hey, snow and sort of looked back and smiled and waved it. So yeah, um it's been cold. Uh job's going well. You have to do a, blo a vlog about that, I suppose. Do a separate thing. Anyway, so yeah, things are actually good at the moment. Uh, a couple of quick shout outs to I get this right the right way. Um uh, Rebecca Stobart and Jessica Blue, who have both um recently subscribed and commented. Um ugh. Rebecca's got a lot of um unboxing type stuff and she seems very cool. Um and I I really want to watch one of the videos, but I did enjoy it. Uh she's northern, so if you're a non if you're a non Brit and you have trouble following me, you might have more trouble following her because she talks about as fast as I do sometimes and with a stronger accent. Um but she's really very sweet. Um kind of funny. I, 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 I the one video I did watch I did enjoy. Um slight small, small. It, it was a um video an unboxing that I'd already un I'd already done so I could like say and what I found interesting is that she was kind of saying some of the similar things I was saying um it was the last wizardry where she got the other uh, table and everything she's like oh I need one of these and saying some of the some of the stuff I was saying about it and some of the other items so that was kind of fun to um to watch not to have my thing you know things necessarily fun but I'm happy with people having differing opinions to me um, but it was interesting to watch this person who was having similar things That's where we put them Sorry, um, my partner moved some stuff and like, I just realised where he put it um, But having someone look at the same items and having similar reactions is like, huh, cool! Um, so yeah, and Jessica Blue I haven't watched any of her videos yet, she has some um, fewer videos but again they seem to be along the um, unboxing um, lines of things um, and yeah so I'll, I'll check those out later so yes thank you for joining um, for subscribing I now have 70 I need 30 more for the 100 Ooh, be so exciting um, so yeah quick shout outs and hellos um, always nice to have new faces right so on to this unboxing which is threads and it is actually and I yeah doesn't, oh yeah, it does actually say it on here. It um because I got the email through, and it was like, hey, we're sending this out to you. I'm like, uh, cool. And I looked at that February. It is April. Uh, this is a February box. Um, I checked my videos, went down the list, and said, oh, I didn't have the threads for um February. And it does actually say it on this sticker here, which probably won't focus. Um, but it does actually say February near where my finger is. If that focuses, then you can see. Um, so yes, uh, threads a book, graphic novel, comic, you know, um, novel, whatever. It, it, it's a book of some descript and a t-shirt for ten pounds. Always worth the money from Zavi. Um, yeah, feels good. Uh, this one feels heavy. Also, it feels like there's an extra like. It feels like a weight of a book. Obviously, the softness of a t-shirt. And there's an extra crunchy, and I don't know if that's just packaging or because this is late, they put an extra thingy in. Um, so, I, I don't know. Uh, no theme. Sometimes the items are related to each other, but very rarely are they. Um, I kind of, they kind of did that before, like, back in the day, uh, when they first started, they'd have, like, um, a t-shirt, like some sci-fi themed t-shirt, and then the book would be kind of sci-fi-ish or dystopic or something like that. Um, that was cool. I'm, I do kind of miss... Um, the novels. You know, I haven't had a novel in a while. I, I kind of miss that. Um, that's how I ended up with uh, Ready Player One and Armada, which I've started Ready Player One. I haven't finished, finished it yet. And there's lots of other books that I may not necessarily have picked up on my own or thought to look at. Um, but ha now have because they, they sent them to me. So novels I miss. This, from the weight and the weight shifting around, I'm... Possibly a graphic novel of some description. Here's my knife. That's a bit of tape that's just went on my glasses. Um, <laughs> I, 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 it, it landed. We dealt. Move on. Okay, let's uh, let's open her up. 
I know I'm doing it towards me, but um, I, I would have hit here before I hit myself. And now uh, we uh, secure the knife because we are safety conscious here. Remember, kids, don't try this at home. If you do try it at home, remember to have adult su supervision and make to remind your adult to um, secure their knife once they're finished. All right, stiff, stiff, up. Okay, um, so the rattling was packaged in, it was just an air bubble. Uh, and we have, oh, okay. Okay, that's cool. Um, so, kind of related this time, in the sense that they are both comic book. And this is just your classic, your, ba your classic Batman logo. The black on yellow. Not a huge amount to say, this is the one I kind of... I would call this the iconic Batman symbol. It's, you know, the one I'm sort of immediately think of. It's kind of, um, I think... It is the one used in the um, uh, Tim Burton movies, but it's, for me, it definitely is evocative of the um, Adam West series, which, as I have mentioned before, is the series I know best and grew up with. And this is kind of cool because I do have a um, classic, um, I, I what I'd call the Dollar Era um, Superman T-shirt design. So this is this will go as a nice contrast to my Batman, my Superman one. Um, with these basic classic symbol ones i do like them and i have one i have one my superman one it's just like it's so basic so iconic and i do prefer the ones that are less obvious i mean the the t-shirt on my today is one of the harry wizarding world ones and it's you know wands and spells and then you know it looks kind of punk you know, like a death metal band or something like that i don't tend to listen to those types of music but I like the design I, that's the thing and um, feel free again I, I'd, I'd love to have a conversation about this do you sometimes find that even if it isn't a fandom that you like say like a particular band or type of music that it's not your thing but you kind of like the t-shirts or the artworks and you think oh but I don't support the bands but I feel like a hypocrite wearing it but that is awesome I like that. <laughs> so, so that's why for me this t-shirt is kind of evocative of, of those kind of designs that I wouldn't necessarily bother with for the band because it's not my kind of music. And I'm not saying that they're necessarily bad people, the music is bad. It's just it's not for me and I would feel like a hypocrite for promoting something that I don't actually believe in. Um, so this will get worn. Uh, you can't get really wrong but it's like, oh you like Batman? Well I, I got a t-shirt and I like the t-shirt. Um, but that's enough about the t-shirt. <laughs> As I said, it is it is kind of themed this month in the sense that it is comic book, and in this case, we got a novel, and it is fearless and fantastic. Um, we have Captain Marvel on the front. I don't know if it's necessarily just about Captain Marvel. I think it might be about women's, because it wasn't. I know. Ah, um, oh yeah, it's the women's. I don't know when International Women's Day or International Women's Month. I, know, I think it's in um, February Black Awareness Month. At least certainly in the States. If I've, if I've modeled that out, please feel free to correct me. Okay. Brave, strong, determined, clever and daring. Meet the amazing Marvel superheroes who use their powers to help others and save the day. How does, how does superstar pilot and space explorer Captain Marvel protect Earth from alien threats? Why is... Why did genius inventor Moon Girl form a crime fighting duo with a T Rex called Devil Dinosaur? I have that issue. I haven't read it yet, but I do have the um, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, and I'm looking forward to reading that. Um, and how did Gamora become the deadliest woman in the galaxy? Discover the amazing stories of all these female heroes and many more, including Ms. Marvel, Spider Woman, Squirrel Girl, Shuri, Quake, Black Widow, American Chavez, and Storm. With a four by Kelly Thompson, writer for Marvel Comics. And on the back we have Ms. Marvel Kamala Khan on the um, back looking very fierce and stretchy. And uh, I think she's... I, again, I need to really sit down and read. I'm, I'm kind of into the headspace now where I think I might actually just start pulling out some of my comics and start reading them. Um, so yeah, Moon Girl. So we've got the character, a little bit of info. Oh, a quote. Most people never wanted to see me as anything but normal little girl. 
but I have big ideas. And then, uh, friends and allies and other role models. Okay, um, people that she likes. So they've got cross referencing at the bottom. So the end little blurb, and then we've got the artwork. So it is DK, uh, Dolan Kingsley, which is aimed at a younger audience. Um, how much is this? is a £12 book. Well, sorry, £13, £12.99. So £12 book, t shirt's free. £13 book, t shirt's free. Uh, I, is it alphabetical? Rogue, Singularity, AO. No, it's not alphabetical. Quake. How are they? Hawkeye. Female Hawkeye. Jessica Jones, Black Widow. How are they? Um... Oh, okay. Let me just read the instructions. I'm not sure how they're um, organising this. Students, warriors, secret agents, inventors, crime fighters, journalists, the inspiring female superheroes of the Marvel Universe, Marvel Comics, make their marks in many different ways. Some girls and women are born with superpowers, some gain them by accident or experiment, others have none and use education, training or sheer willpower to forge their own paths. But all of these heroes can save the world. To help readers navigate the books, the characters are arranged into four chapters relating to personal qualities. Determination, daring, compassion and curiosity. Each character may possess a, com a combination or all of these qualities and the chapter they appear in indicates that they are a particularly good example of that strength. Okay, so it's it's done by quality, you know, these, the qualities as listed above. Um, yeah. Oh, that's a nice picture of Jubilee. That's really cool. I like that action pose. There's a lot happening in this picture. Which is also, um, side but note, um, if you... Oh, and uh, I'm saying this as someone who doesn't do figures very well. You know, I probably you know if I was to really work on my art. Um, but I would always suggest to anyone wanting to do um, figure drawing that maybe take an anatomy class so you can see how muscles work. Um, but I, I'm saying that as someone who doesn't draw figures but has done an anatomy class, it's just thing. Um, it doesn't seem to be alphabetical um, within each subsection. Um, I'm not sure why that isn't alphabetical, but it is properly listed. So, determined Captain Marvel, Sif, Storm, Black Widow, Hellcat, Spider Woman, Gwen Stacy, Maria Hill, Ms. Marvel, Valkyrie, Nico Minori, Minoru, I'm, that's a character I'm not familiar with, Silk, Jessica Jones, Queen Ramonda, Gertrude Yorks, Jubilee, Sharon Carter, and Daring Wasp, Janet Van Dyne, Gamora Thor. Spectrum and Peggy Carter. Do you want me to go through all these? I don't know. Um, Compassionate, Squirrel Girl, Mantis. Um, Jean Grey. Mm, I can see that. A Pepper Potts. And then Curious, Scott Shuri, Spider Woman, Jessica Drew. Wasp, Nadia Van Dyne. She Hulk. Our Moon Girl comes under Curious. Uh, Dazzler. Yeah, so. Um, it, is, it is a book. Let's see if I can get a good flick going. About the women of Marvel and if I've done this right we are okay the pictures are on different sides yeah so we get like I said we get a portrait we get a name we get a quote we get a little blurb That's, I'd call that a coffee table book you sit you have a little flick through look up someone you want to know something more about yeah I like it I do I'm, I, I think I've spoken more about this than I have the t-shirts so I guess that's an, a, a thumbs up um and I'm definitely probably waffling way too much. We are now looking at a 14 minute video about a book and a t-shirt. I think I can safely say I've covered it. I think we can talk, um, say that this is uh, good. No, I like this. I do like the t-shirt, but like I said, I like the designs that are less obviousness in their fanishness. But hey, you know, they themed. <laughs> and yes, you can have DC and Marvel in one, one thing, in one place without all hell breaking loose so yeah it is like i said it is designed for a younger audience and as a book of awesome women for a younger audience everyone should read it every child i'm not saying oh this would be a really cool book for um, girls to read because yeah of course it's a cool book for girls to read but boys should read it too because you know there's lots of cool there's lots of awesome women in here and young women so yeah um let's see if i can find a fun picture to send this out
No, that one. Why is she pregnant? Uh, let's see what's grabbing. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. That, I don't know who Singularity is. I guess I'll read that and find out. But how pretty is that? I think that's a nice nice picture to send us out. And if that ends up being a thumbnail for some reason, well, I'm going to change it anyway, but at least it won't be too spoilery and quite a nice thing to look at. Uh, singularity. We are a team. We are friends. We are heroes. It is time we save the day. Cool. Yep. All right. On that pretty picture and thoughts, I'm going to stop waffling and say goodbye. So if you have been, and especially if you've got all the way to the end, thank you. You're awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. All 70 of you. I have noticed that my um, view counts on these unboxings seem to be less recently. I don't know why. But it doesn't matter. Those of you that are watching, you're the important ones because you're watching and you're awesome and I appreciate you. I'm going to start waffling now. I'm Michelle. You've been watching. I'll see you later. Bye and thank you.